Today, I'm going to be joining one of the most exclusive and expensive racing series in the world, the Ferrari Challenge. For most of us, the dream is to own a Ferrari. For some people, that's just not enough. They want to race one, and that is where this gorgeous thing comes in. This is the brand new, all new, 2021 Ferrari Challenge Evo with tons of modifications and extra performance. Now, I don't own a Ferrari, sadly, so I'm not actually entitled to race in this series, but Ferrari have give me the keys for a few laps. So we're gonna find out what this thing's all about. device on carbon helmet brand new Ferrari Challenge Evo this is going to be exciting I've been into Brands Hatch in a very long time on the Indy track very cold tires they don't use tire warmers in this series so I've got to be cautious but I've got a load of traction control systems here on the Manatino system on the Challenge car comes in two stages basically so I've got these two dials here one for inline traction basically wheel spin and the other one that controls your yaw angle so I can adjust those with my fingers here, but um, that all sounds a bit boring, so I'm just going to turn it all off and uh, do this au naturel. Famous last words. It's been a while since we've been down the pit lane at Brands Hatch. Right, let's get the pit lane speed limiter on. Here we go. We can feed that power in a little bit, get us up to our top speed, and the rev limiter is going to hold it there at whatever this is 60 kph. All right, pit lane speed off. Let's just be sensible here and get these tyres working a little bit. Yeah, they feel very cold on this track. Gonna feed the power in gently. <laughs> nice big hole in the uh, sand trap there from where somebody else got overexcited at paddock. Uh, down change is fantastic. It's got this uh, paddle shift gearbox. It's so seamless. Let's put the power in. Oh, oh, oh yes. You feel that wheel spin. Still, it's all good stuff. Working these tyres in. Oh, there we go, baby. Using the brake pedals to heat these fronts. It's going to take about two or three laps. Brands Indy is a very short track, sort of sub 50 second lap time. So you see these corners quite a few times in the course of the weekend. It's going to take a while just to work the heat into these slicks and get them going. Even in the straights, you can feel these cold tyres shivering around a little bit. There we go. But it feels very user friendly. Steering wheel very light. The throttle's precise, but you can absolutely feel that power. 710 brake horsepower going through these cold tyres. It's going to be savage if you overcook it. Ah, just starting to get a little bit of a workout into them. Just starting to come on song. There we go. So we've got rid of the wheel spin now. I like it in the low traction setting because you can just feel what's going on as long as you're careful and cautious rather than having it masked 
underneath that traction control, you never quite know what the limit is. So this has taught me pretty well. I'm just trying to get my head around Ferrari thinking with this car because I've raced the GTE at Le Mans. Well, this car's got less downforce and more power than the Le Mans car. So I'm not quite sure how that's going to work. Whoa, it's busy. It's very precise though, steering is so light, but you can be very delicate. The car really goes where you want it to. A very, very good balance kind of feeling, you'd expect that from a mid-engine car. But coming onto this straight, it has so much power, you've got to be cautious. Any time you've got steering lock on with the power down, that that torque doesn't turn you around. Cool. <laughs> the straights don't take very long, that's for sure. Ah, uh, just lovely. A thing of beauty. Way up. There we go. You can really dig into this brake pedal very deep into the corner. Nice little bit of understeer at the apex and then she livens up on the way out. Line critical through here at 30. Take a little bit of curve just to try and shortcut that apex. <laughs> when that power comes in, it comes in hard. It is busy. I've been around this track a lot of times in different cars, but I've never spent this long coming onto the pit straight, hanging on and feeling for grip through those rear tyres. There's just so much torque. It's very different to the Le Mans car. The Le Mans car is a much more aerodynamic beast, and you're kind of elevated in terms of your cornering speed, but you just don't feel that surge of power like you do in this thing. It's bestial. Absolutely feel that this is the big brother to the F8 Tributo that we had out last time. <laughs> but just absolutely brought alive on these slick tyres. It's fantastic to really feel it making the most of the grip. Beautiful car. So responsive here. It's just strange to be in a, a sort of lower down the rungs of motorsports ladder in a car that feels like it's got more performance than the actual Le Mans one on which it's based. But on these slicks, it really comes alive, making the most of that grip. And 50% more downforce than the previous Challenge car, and it needs it because of this extra power flying through it. Oh, beautiful on the brakes. Can brake later there. Late turn into Paddock Hill. Got to watch out as you come down into the compression. You hit that bump. Diving for the apex into Druids, down to second, keeping the revs up a little bit of gas, a bit of a step, and then if she's stepping round, down to third for Graham Hill, trying to square this off. A little bit of resistance in the front end, which is okay to start with, I'm just getting the rotation, and careful, oh my lord. Coming onto this pit straight, you've got to be on your game. Into seventh gear on the brakes of Paddock. I'm going to leave my turn in as late as possible. I'm going to leave that a little bit later next time. Here we go, our power on. Oh, that big bump. A little lock up there, but the ABS just saved my bacon. And I made it for the corner. Oh, real lifesaver. Okay, come on, let's get you in there. Oh, making so late. It really is supportive. Come on, baby, here we go. Oh, using every inch of the road on the way out of clearways. Car is ridiculously fast. Can't switch off for a second. Come on, here we go. Into the apex, the power down. Woohoo! Not so late this time. We're going to keep it a bit more tidy. Keep my minimum speeds. Oh, coming out. Jeez, I'm sorry guys, but I'm going to have to pay attention now. Here we go, a 360 degree lap of Rounds Hatch. Full pelt, I'm going to line myself up for a good exit out of clearways. Let's see what kind of lap time we can produce here.
physical, I'll give you that. Woo! It's a busy lap, breaking very late into the paddock, getting down the gear changes. Oh man, this is raw, absolutely raw. It's hard to know what to compare it to. It's so different to the Le Mans car because oh, the pass just sensational shooting you out of the corner and try not to overdrive it on the exits but I'll be honest I don't know that I'm succeeding oh, hammering these curbs just abusing this beautiful machine to cut the corner as best I can oh, it is the workout it's been a little bit of time since I've been around here as well I think I better come in Really great balance. Even though the steering wheel's super light, it's just the constant G-forces and holding yourself in the car as you're coming out of the corner and trying to feed the power in slowly. It just never lets you go because it's got so much to give, basically. You only really can feel like you relax on this very short straight. And even the straight at Brands Hatch has curvature in it. It's a very busy lap in a very busy machine. something today because I came here thinking that if you're a professional racing driver you should drive the car raw no traction control rely on balance and instinct to control the machine and set the fastest time but I was wrong so when I turned the traction on I went faster and it was easier so there's no shame in it leave the traction control on you'll do a better time I mean all these supercars now are built to run with traction control because it's better than you and you won't crash into a tree <laughs>